Yo, what is going on, guys? I am bringing you episode two of my Buffalo Be a GM. We're going to start off real quick. As you guys remember from yesterday, whenever you watched it, we had an amazing streak going 12, 2, and 1. Not expected at all. Let's go look at some of the lineups, though, real quick and see how we're doing. Um, Let's do it this way this time. It'll be a little different. Um, Let's see. So, Vanex at 18. Weber's got three, so that could be better, but he's, he is a defensive defenseman, so... I will let that slide. Airhoff's got eight, so that's pretty good. Ennis has thirteen. You know what? Let's let's just okay. So the first line, I'm gonna guess we're doing good. How's Ott doing? Um, he's got eleven. What about Hodgson? Nope, not on defense. Whoops. Hodgson, what do you have? Uh, you know what? You're gonna play the first line. I saw a few comments saying put Ott in the third, but we don't really uh have that many options here. Also, we're gonna bring down Grigorenko. <coughs> um. Coletta, what are you doing? I think you'd be better on the fourth line. You probably have like one. Yep, you've got one goal, one assist. So, Coletta on the fourth line. We're going to send down Larson. How is... Oh, he's nothing too special. He's got more points than Coletta, though, but uh, nothing too special. Leno, what are you? Um, Better have at least five goals. Four. Oh, I mean, that's not terrible. What's your 4.5 a year? That's, that's a bit much. I mean, he's a pretty good player. Uh, he's... Probably could be like an 84 over... Ah, uh, I don't know. Defensively, he's he's okay. Physically, he's okay. But like skating, shooting, and puck skills, and even senses, he's like 85 all over. So, he's pretty good, but for 4.5, and he's only got like 5 points, I don't know. What about Porter? think we can get another a better center. Yeah, so basically, I think we got to get rid of this whole third line and possibly a fourth line center, because I think I want to bring down Grigorenko. And Felino, hopefully you have at least like six or seven points. You've got four, so you could definitely be better. So really, I don't know how we're doing this. This might just be all Vanek. Uh, Erhoff, Myers, Myers, what are you doing? You better. Oh, I forgot. Don't you have like two points? Yeah, you've got nothing. Um, if you don't keep playing, or well, if you keep playing like you are, we might have to bring up Talinder and McBain because Myers is definitely not getting it done. But. Besides that, I believe Miller is playing very good. Well, Enroth's in right now, but let's see what Miller is doing. So 10-2, and two, he's letting in not even two goals a game and almost 940 save percentage, so very good there. But before we go on, we are going to get a brand new third line. So let's just go to roster moves, and we're going to bring down Larson and um, who was it? Let me go see real quick. And Grigorenko, definitely, so... Larson, you're down in the minors, and Grigorenko, and we can't do that, so we're going to bring up, we'll bring up Luke Adam, he's a very good player, I don't know how good he gets in this game, but we'll bring him up, we're going to send him to the juniors, and we're going to edit lines, and we're going to see how good um, Adam's going to be, I don't know how good he's going to be in this game, I know last year he got to about an 80 or so, but let's go check, does he have 4 star potential, he's got 3.5 star, um, He's got three points, so we're going to leave him on the fourth line. I don't know how good he's going to be, but better than uh, Grigorenko, I would think. So what I want to do right now is get a different center and another right winger here. So for the time being, we're going to throw in... Who's the other guy we have? Flynn. He's not going to be there, but for the time being, we're going to try to get rid of Flynn and Porter, and we're going to try to uh, upgrade a little bit here. We have a bunch of salary, so I'll check the free agency. I don't think anything will really be there. But we're going to check it anyway, so let's see what we have. So, let's go right wingers real quick. So, Armstrong. Hmm. Ah, arm dog. Hmm. Do I want him? Anything potential wise? Mersak? Nothing really. Shooting? Don't. Oh, yeah. I don't think we really need any. We have already a shooting. Ah, hmm. How, how old is he? 31 years old. Uh, you know what? Chuck is going to be our third line right winger at, we're going to give him a 5.8 for two years. You don't want that. How about a 6.75 for two years, two way, so that's very good. And center wise, nothing too special here, but you know, it's got to be not a 40 overall. Uh, Connolly, um, hmm. Uh, these, the top three are very good, because Connolly is the cheapest salary, and he's basically the best, uh, best overall, but Arnett is, he's got pretty good face-offs, and he's an overall around good depth player, 
he's the most money, but basically anything under a million isn't really talking much. But he is 39, so he could be one year. So let's just see what we're... He's got 79. I think Maltrol has like 80, yep. And Connolly probably is like 70. Okay, yeah. Um, So Connolly has five points. He had five. Um, Did they drop him or something? Oh, AHL. So he has five in the AHL, so that's already good. Um, Malhotra, I, he's going to be with Leno, I believe. We're probably going to be trading Leno later on this season. Not right now. Since it's working out, we're going to keep it at how it is, but you know what? Do we want Connolly or Arnett? Um, you know what? We're going to go with Connolly. Connolly is younger. He could get better. We're going to offer him two years as well. We're going to give him the same contract, and hopefully they both sign. And is there any defensemen? A coin, Babchuk, a Hammerlick. Are they? They're all pretty old. Babchuk's kind of younger, but still pretty old. Any pretty good def uh, depth? Uh, no, not really anything here. You know, we're gonna offer this guy right here, Bobby, a contract for. Okay, so he he looks like he's gonna get better. So I'm gonna take the risk on this one. We're gonna sign him for one years at. 6.25 because he's he's going up to 2 million next year if we sign him for two years so i think he's gonna get better but i'm gonna try to leave this and we're gonna try to trade who was i'm gonna see who we need to trade real quick it, we're not gonna be able to get really anything out of this but um let's just go through and go to centers so we want to trade uh where are they who, who do you want to trade was it porter yeah it was porter but i don't see him Oh, there he is. So, Porter, you want them. Would you take a... I'm not going for anything here. A fourth-round pick. Okay, they can't do it. Okay, so Boston can do it. Would you do a fourth-round pick for him? No, they wouldn't. How about a fifth? Um. So, I don't think they'd do it anyway. Okay, so Calgary can't. Why does everyone want him? Like, I mean, he's not terrible, but he hasn't really done much. So, would you take a fourth? So we got a fourth round pick at our Porter, and we freed up some cap, and he wouldn't be on the team anyway. So left wingers real quick. Um, Leno we could trade, but for the time being, I'm just going to leave him there. He is, he got four goals, so it's not terrible. Uh, Coletta, you're going to stay in the fourth line. Defenseman. Uh, we have some rookies coming up. We have three rookies. They all look pretty good. Um... I believe that's that's pretty much it. You know what? Solzer could go. Mm. You know, we're going to leave it how it is right now. And goaltenders, we are pretty much set there. So that's all I want to do, I guess you could say. Now, hopefully we can get them to sign. I don't know if they will. If they don't sign by tomorrow, we might lose this game because we don't really have a third line now at all. And we don't have a third line at all. So we're just going to simulate up to the Shark game probably lose this game i don't know the ducks aren't very good right now but let's see how we do and we go with a loss but it's in overtime so not going to complain there so he didn't take it um we could still see if he's up there oh wait he did take it i don't know i read that wrong okay so we only got one player uh, and here we go so Connolly, <laughs> full roster full roster and full roster so we're gonna have to um trade some players here I didn't even notice we had a full roster, so let's just go in and go to centers, and so this guy right here, this guy, this, no, not him, uh, how about left wingers, we'll go with, uh, does he have any potential, I don't think he does, uh, he's got some, so we'll trade this guy, and right wingers, we'll just go with someone like, uh, this guy, okay, now I doubt any, t uh, anyone could, uh, we, we'll see if anyone could take it. I don't think so. So, Tampa. Can they just take it for a draft pick? No. I don't think anyone will be able to take this because that's four players. So, we'll just go back to Tampa real quick. And we will see if they could do anything for us. Probably not. So, Skater's looking to give up. Oland. Um, you know what? Well, we will take Oland if they if they want to do this and a random player probably I do uh, no we don't want to do that mm -mm, never mind I don't really want to take Olin because I don't know I feel like I'd rather have a hmm I don't know how this is gonna work because it's looking like we have to take on three so 
you know what? we'll see if this works so it did work and now we're basically back to square run but um i don't know we're gonna see okay can we just do one somewhere real quick okay so we could do it with the devil so we'll take a fifth and let's see if we could trade anyone else probably not most likely this guy right here can the devils take another guy yes they can and we'll do it for their sixth and um i believe we could do um this guy's dirty so it'd be nice to get rid of him i doubt anyone wants this guy especially with a name like bagnell but um i mean would anyone take him uh they can't okay so red wings can't have up for a fourth no, I'm guessing they would probably, yep, a fifth. So, you know what, that's, that's pretty much it. We got rid of four or five players. Best lines for AHL team. And now we're going to try to pick up Connolly. Um, uh, who, uh, who was it? Connolly, was that, hmm. I don't remember who it was. I know it was, was it just Connolly? And um, so let's offer him the same deal. Two years at 6.5 instead of 6.7 because there's no teams interested and uh it was the right winger in oh this guy um so two years at 6.5 there as well so i think we'll be able to get both of them but again we won't have our team i'm not going to edit the lines i'll just let it roll out how it is right now and did we beat the sharks i don't think so and we do vanek didn't score but hodgson i think got an assist he might have and against the kings and ducks so we'll just simulate these games real quick Hopefully we got our full team after these games, or maybe after just the Kings game. Do they sign? Okay, nice. A shutout win for Miller, I believe. Vatnik, no points, and neither with Hodgson. So we got Connolly, and we got Cup. Cup. Oh, I'm not even gonna pronounce that. I heard him. I heard his name a few times against the Devils and Penguins game, but for some reason not clicking right now. I don't want to say it and completely mess it up. So I'm gonna skip that. So instead of drop. You're going to that line. Flynn will be replaced with... Guess he's not here? Okay, so all of our lines are really messed up at the moment. So we're going to bring down Flynn. But we're going to bring up Connolly and Kobasu. I think that's Kobasu. Uh, Flynn, you're going down. And... Um, uh, we will see. We'll, we're going to see what happens here. So we're going to put Kobasu in the uh, right wing spot. Hodgson in the right there, right here. Mm-hmm. Yep. Keep doing it. Uh, you know what? Coletta or Trop? What's Trop doing? Right wing, 24 years old. You know what? He's playing, not Coletta. Coletta, you're getting scratched. Where are you, Coletta? Um. Okay. Now scratch you and put Connolly there. And I don't know. Our team looks a little bit better now. Definitely, our third line got better. Fourth line looks like it got better. Second line the same, and the first line the same, and defensively, basically the same, and I'm going to guess, yeah, Miller's playing, okay. So now I like your team, we're going to play a few more games, and now we're just going to play games, and uh, hopefully do pretty good. Okay, so we're going to finish off in December, and yeah, we didn't really make any big trades, we got rid of a bunch of players, we got a better third line, we fixed our fourth line up, first and second line stayed the same, besides moving Hodgson and Ott. And defensively, we didn't touch a thing. And goaltender, we didn't touch a thing. And our team's looking pretty good. 14, 4, and 2. I think, I'm thinking, this is a um, top 5 team overall. So we might want to trade our pick soon. Maybe we trade our first round pick and Stafford for a better right winger. I'm thinking if we want to do that, we should do that now or soon. Maybe we should, kind of sounds weird, maybe we should lose a few games to get our draft pick up in value a little bit. But I'm not sure if that would even matter that much because I realized when we started off about like 6 or 7, no, maybe I should have traded my draft pick. But again, I was thinking we were going to start off terribly, so I want to keep that. But like if we come in, uh, if we're in the, one of the top teams, like, it's kind of pointless of uh, keeping our pick if we could get like a really good player. If we, uh, the first round pick's worth a lot. But I'm not sure if it is. I mean... I think I want to hold on to it because you can get better players like actually after like the 6th and 7th pick. Last year, after the 6th and 7th pick, you get like 3.5 star potential guys. This year, in like the 15th, 20th round, um, in the first round, I mean, but like the 15th or 20th pick, you could still get really good players like 4 and 4.5 four and stars. So we're on a 4 or 5 game winning streak. Do we beat the Devils? No, we lose. I think that was in regulation. But Vanix got a goal per game. Well... 
every win we have. So let's go check the GM options and let's go check progress reports. Does anyone get a boost? Um, so somehow Vanek doesn't, but uh, I don't know. We'll just keep going, I guess. I don't know how Vanek doesn't. He's that's a lot of goals. I never have anyone leading in uh, goals like that early on. But let's go to GM tracker and let's go to Ed right there, and we're gonna confirm purchase and exit. And since the injuries are off, we're obviously not going to upgrade that. But um, what else do we want to do? We're going to go check our stat central and team standings. So we are ranked third place, so our pick probably isn't worth much. But So goals four, we are at the top three. So almost three goals a game. That's very good. Goals against, we are top five, bottom five. Well, top five goals against. So that's good, but it's not... Uh, well, yeah, never mind. That's amazing. But I was just looking at Nationals, and I'm like, oh my god, that's, that's amazing. Um, power play goals, I'm not expecting us to be good. Yeah, or we're below mid-pack. Penalty kill, very good. And uh, so we're very good at home. Away, we're probably below average, and we haven't been playing the best in our last 10. Still, though, we are a very good team. And player stats, let's just take a quick look, and then we might simulate a few games, or we might make one big trade this uh, thing. I feel like Stafford's not doing much, but let's go check. So center-wise, Ennis with 30, which is very, very good. Well, basically 30. Ott with 22, so that's good. Hodgson with 17. That could be better. You know what? Maybe we'll move Ennis on the top line. The sniper with the, another sniper in Vanek and whatever Stafford is. And then Connolly with two, so he could definitely be better. Adam could definitely be better, but he does have two goals. Um, so let's move on to the left winger. So Vanek, 26 points. That's very good. Leno with 16, he's definitely gotten better, so good thing we didn't trade him. Felino with 10, eh, pretty good, not nothing special, but pretty good. And right wingers, Stafford is a 2A forward, and he's got 21 points, so that's good. That's not amazing, but that is good. Trop, or Troop, has 4, so nothing special there. Coletta with 4, nothing special there. And Kobasu with 3, so again, nothing special there. Defense, McBain is 15, so that's good. Erhoff, 14, good. Talinder, 13, good. Myers 10, that's okay for him. Solzer with 7, and Weber with 6, so nothing special with them. So Enroth's been, he's just had a good win-loss, but his goals against the average hasn't been that good. And Miller's really good. He got a little bit worse. He was like 1.7 before, now he's 1.88. And his save percentage went down a little bit. So he hasn't been playing as good as he was at the start. His stats have been dropping a little bit. And same with our team's record, but still, we are a very good team. And I think we want to go for a trade real quick. I'm going to see our options. <laughs> I don't think there's going to be many, but we want a a top line, first line forward. I want him younger than 32. Um, we'll just put four star. Um, probably a playmaker, so we want to put four and a half star there. Four there. Skating, definitely want to be good. Stafford's is pretty bad. Physical, we don't really care. Defensively, he want him to be somewhat good. So we'll do four there. Shooting, I really don't care. We already have two snipers, so... We're probably going to get a lot of options here, but let's just see what we have. Possibly right-wingers. So, right-wingers. Okay, so we only have a few. Voracek would be nice, but uh, I don't know. I mean, I feel like... You know what? Can we go back here? Can we... If we move puck skills down, would that would that do anything? Or is it just because... Uh, I believe that didn't do anything at all. Hmm. Do we want to... I don't know if we want to get anyone, honestly. They're, they're all pretty high overall. Oh, God, Crosby. That's not even... Uh, don't even want to go near that. So, click on this. We'll move that up here. And we'll move puck skills... We'll move... Uh, what do we want? Uh, I guess defense down? They're definitely too good of a... Uh, why is it? Hmm. I don't get why... Oh, well, first... Hmm. Three. With this work, I doubt it would change anything. I don't think it did. There's only like four or five, so... Voracek, I feel like that's too much. We could always try to get him. You know what? We'll, we'll make a quick try. I don't think this will work, but we will try real quick. So we give him Stafford... So this is actually pretty close. Stafford and Hmm, who do they want? Can we give we can give them McBain or Weber. You know what? With this wouldn't work because they need I believe we just need to put another player in, so 
Um, Stafford's actually close. Weber is somewhat close. And how about a third and a second from us? Will this work? If it does, that's a very good trade. No. The value is too far off the table, so I could see why. Can we see what else we could do? So, skaters matching block. Uh, Felino. He's 22, so we definitely want to hold on to him. We're going to switch Weber with McBain. I don't know if this is a good deal, but, you know, how old is McBain? I believe 25. 25, yeah. He might get a little bit better next year, maybe an 81 or 82, but Voracek is 10 times better than um, Stafford, and I don't know. I think this is a very good trade for us, so let's see if this goes through. A third-round pick, McBain and Stafford for Voracek, and here we go. No. It's too far off the table again, so we're going to add that second again. And if that doesn't work, I believe we're just going to stop. And does it? So too far off the table, we're going to add a last second. No, yeah, the Kings or Minnesota. I'm going to say the Kings do better, so we're going to add this. If this doesn't go through, we're not going to do this trade. And it does go through. So welcome to the Team Voracek. It, this first line is going to look very good. I'm going to quickly change it up real quick. And we're going to play about... Um, no, we're going to end the episode, and you're going to tell me what you guys think. So we're going to move Hodgson with Ennis, Hodgson with Ott, um, Leno with Felino, and that's going to be our new lineups. What do you guys think about that? I don't really know if I... You know what? Hodgson's going to go back up. We need a playmaker with two snipers and then a sniper with a grinder and a two-way forward. I'd probably... You know, I hopefully Hodgson can go up to an 84-85 next season just to give a... Because we have two snipers on the first line. I feel like this should go great. How's Voracek looking? 16 points, so that's good. It's not amazing. I was expecting a little bit more, but I think he's definitely an upgrade over Stafford. And I think this could add definitely more scoring overall for us. We've been doing good, but I would say we're not doing the best in our last few games. <laughs> Obviously, the record's still amazing, but um, I believe we lost a few. Like, we were on a uh, four-game losing streak there. Then we won one, lost one. We were on a three-game winning streak. Then we lost one. But that's our team right now. It's looking very good. We're in the top three, which is awesome. Was not expecting that, and we made one big trade for Voracek. That's probably going to be it this season. What do you guys think we should do? Maybe we should uh, go for a trade for a top six defenseman. Maybe we should put a rookie in. What do you guys think we should do? Because I believe now we're down a defenseman with McBain gone. But I hope you guys enjoy this episode. Sorry if they're a little bit too long. I like the 15 to like 17 or 18 minute mark, but they just carry on, and I keep going, and then I'm like, whoa, 20 minutes. But... Yeah, I'm going to end the episode now, guys. I hope you guys enjoy this. If you did, please leave a like. It honestly means so much. And I will see you guys later.